Hi, I'm James Muir, and this is a screencast for Make More Noise. We're going to do something a little bit different uh, for the next couple of screencasts coming up. We're going to do a collaboration with a company called Loop Masters, who are purveyors of sample libraries. Now, they sent through a sample pack for us to use in one of our forthcoming tutorials called When Alien Drum Robots Attack. You can see the very cool graphic up here on the screen. And when I was going through and loading this up into my system, um, I've been loading up the EXS24 versions to use in Logic. I noticed that in the bundle comes some Rex files. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar, Rex files are a format developed by a company called Propellerheads, who you'll not probably know from Reason and Recycle. And they're sort of flexible, flexible tempo loops. Uh, so a little bit like Apple loops, uh, but they tend to be more beats and stuff rather than pitched. And uh, I was just going to have a quick chat with you about how I use them, because obviously I'm going to load them up into my system. Now, Logic will deal with Rex files natively, and you can use them in EXS24. But my favorite uh, host for Rex files is Spectrasonics' Stylus plugin. Uh, so what I've got up on the screen here is the Sage Converter, which comes with the install for Spectrasonics Stylus. And it enables you to take a standard Rex file and convert it so it works in Stylus RMX. Now, the way you do this is you open up your folder of Rex files, which you can tell are Rex files from this suffix here, RX2. And if we do the click on the top one, right down to the bottom, hold the shift key and click again. So you've got a group select. You literally just drag them across. He says unselecting. That wasn't very successful. Let me try that again. Uh, so now we've got them all selected. You drag them across and hold them over the Sage converter. It brings up a box saying enter a new sweep, uh, suite name. So we're going to nick the naming scheme they've used when Alia wrote. Let me just click on that so it actually types when Alia robot drums attack. Uh, and then you click convert. Now this will work its way through, converting all the files. And for those of you who are familiar with Stylus RMX, once they're into RMX, they'll just work in the way that all your other loops in there do. And for those of you who aren't familiar, it gives you a huge range of creative possibilities. You can drag the MIDI out. It's got built-in effects. You can reorder the loops. All in all, very cool stuff. So we've got those imported. I'm just going to cut away, load Logic up, and I'll show you what we can do with them now they're in. Okay, we've got Logic all loaded up and RMX up on the screen. So theoretically now, we should be able to play our newly imported Rex files from when alien robot drum machines attack. So we go to where it says sound check here, click, which brings up our libraries, and we go from the core library, click and hold, user libraries, and these are obviously other loops I've added in the past. So if you click and hold here on the library names, you should see one called converted Rex files, which is, as you just saw, exactly what we just did. Let go, and then we've got when alien robot drum machines attack and we should have a bunch of loops running down the screen here okay so let's have a quick talk about what's cool about rex loops and stylus rmx i'm just gonna shove that in a little bit so i've got a bit more space on the screen uh, i capture my screen at quite a high res uh, when we're doing this screencast so you can zoom right in on the details uh, but it does make the screen look a bit squashed sometimes so what's cool about RMX and what's cool about Rex loops? Well, as I said earlier in the screen uh, cast, they are multi-tempo. So as you can see down here at the bottom of the screen, we've got a session tempo of 120 BPM. So let's do something totally outrageous. We'll take a 174 BPM loop. And uh, to get the MIDI into Logic, it's as simple as just clicking here on the MIDI file name dragging it to the arrange window on the track where you've loaded your RMX. I've done it one below, which is a mistake I always make, and Logic automatically creates another instrument. Uh, but actually, we need another instrument in a second, so that's not the worst thing in the world. So we can now drag that up onto the track where RMX is. We'll just shut down the RMX interface for a second, so you can see. Bearing in mind, this is a 174 BPM loop, and we've got a 120 BPM song. Okay, that's in and cool. Um, we're just going to reset this grand piano channel it accidentally, I accidentally created uh, by going to the top of the channel strip, clicking and holding, and then selecting reset channel strip. And this time we're going to load up another instance of Stylus RMX. Stereo. Okay, got it loaded up again. So same idea, sound check, user libraries, converted Rex files, 
when Alien Robot drums attack. So 174 was our first tempo. Looks like 90 is the slowest we've got in there. Let's take a 90 BPM. Uh, Yep, like that loop. Um, I'm just auditioning them by clicking on the loop name, as you can see. And click on the loop again if you want to stop it auditioning. Uh, same idea as last time, MIDI file name, drag it onto the track. I'll be a bit more accurate this time so uh, we don't create a new track by accident. And uh, we can shut down RMX again and uh, just drag our loop out. So now we've got a 174 BPM loop and a 90 BPM loop, both playing at 120 BPM. And obviously the other big advantage of doing it this way is because they're MIDI. I think we've discussed this sort of idea in past tutorials. You can actually get in there and mess about with the MIDI. So deleting MIDI, just shortening the note length there. I haven't prepared this, so this could sound absolutely god-awful, but hopefully it will give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Because it's MIDI, we've got the flexibility, so what I've done is I've deleted the end of the loop and just re-triggered the same hit three times. So hopefully that gives you some idea of the possibilities of using Rex loops in Stylus RMX. I think we'll do another tutorial where we have a look at using Rex files actually with Logic itself for you guys that don't have the third-party plugin Stylus RMX. I'd just like to say thanks to Loop Masters for helping us get this one together and look forward to some more collaborations. Uh, so check out their stuff at www.loopmasters.com. Uh, you should see that up on the screen when I'm saying this. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I've been James Muir. Thanks for watching.